Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa respected brothers and sisters. So today's topic is Jumu'ah. So the question is, if I found the Imam on Tashahud, last sitting of Jumu'ah, Jumu'ah is two rakat. So you found the Imam on last sitting, he's reading at Tahiyyatu lillahi wa salawat. So how many rakat should you complete? This is the question. So the answer here, the Mashaykh Darul Ifta wrote, that إِذَا أَدْرَكْتَ الْإِمَامَ فِي تَشَهُدِ الصَّلَاةِ الْجُمُعَةِ so when you found the Imam in the Tashahud of Jumu'ah prayer, فَعَلَيْكَ أَن تُصَلِّ أَرْبَعَ رَكَعَاتِ So you must pray four rakat. بَعْدَ سَلَامِ الْإِمَامِ After the salam of the Imam. So after Imam said, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, finish the salah. So now you're going to get up and pray. So how many rakat should you pray? Should you pray two or should you pray four? So because you didn't find anything from the Jumu'ah, so now you will pray four rakat as a Zuhur prayer. So you miss, you miss the Jumu'ah. Even though you found you caught the Imam before Salam, but still, it's not going to count as Jumu'ah. Now you will pray Zuhur. You don't have to renew your intention. So whatever intention you had, you continue on that. But it will be counted as a Zuhur prayer, okay? You don't have to break your prayer and restart. You don't have to do that. فَإِنَّ الَّذِي عَلَيْهِ أَكْثَرُ الْعُلَمَاءِ هُوَ أَنَّ الْجُمْعَةَ لَا تُدْرَكْ إِلَّا بِإِدْرَاكِ رَكَعَةٍ مِّنْهَا The majority of the scholars of the Ummah from Sahaba, Tabi'een and Tabu'ud Tabi'een, majority of the scholars, they are on the opinion of that to find the Jumu'ah, you have to find at least one Raka'ah, at least one whole unit you have to find it. So Raka'ah, remember, it includes as standing, Ruku, two Sajdas. These four items makes one Raka'ah. So in majority opinion, the scholars have said, if you find the Ruku, you found the Raka'ah. If you miss the ruku, you miss the raka. So now, if you find one raka'ah with the imam, then you found the jumu'ah. Otherwise, you missed the jumu'ah. Now, let's say you caught the salah while imam is getting up from the ruku. And that's the time you started. Have you found jumu'ah? No. You missed the raka'ah because ruku is over. That means the raka'ah is finished. Okay, so let's see what's next. Hmm... ومعنى ذلك أن من أدرك الإمام وهو في الركوع الركعة الثانية من ركعتي الجمعة وركع معه عليه أن يقيم إذا سلم الإمام ويأتي بركعة ثانية. So the meaning of all of this what we said is that if you find one ركعه with the imam means you cut the ركوع you joined the imam while imam was in the ركوع of the second ركعه then after he finishes the salam you will add one more ركعه and that's your Jumu'ah is done. وَتَمَّتْ جُمْعَتُهُ And your Jumu'ah will be complete. وَمَنْ أَدْرَكَ بَعْدَ الرُّكُوعِ الرَّكَعَةِ الثَّانِيَةِ If anyone finds after the Ruku of the second Raka'at, فَقَدْ فَاتَتْهُ الْجُمْعَةِ He missed the Jumu'ah. وَيُصَلِّ الظُّهْرَ أَرْبَعًا And he will pray the Zuhr for Raka'at بَعْدَ سَلَامِ الْإِمَامِ After the Salam of the Imam. Imam finishes the Salam, you will pray for Raka'at. قال الإمام النووي إمام نووي رحمة الله عليه he says في مجموع شرح المذهب in the book of شرح المذهب he says that قد ذكرنا أن مذهبنا أنه إن أدرك الركوع ركعة الثانية أدركها وإلا فلا إمام نووي says if you find the ركوع of the second ركعت you found the second ركعة you found the جمعة وإلا فلا أو if you don't find the ruku, you didn't find the Jumu'ah, you missed it. وَبِهِ قَالَ أَكْثَرُ الْعُلَمَاءِ And with this, with this opinion, there are majority of these scholars. حَكَاهُ إِبْنُ الْمُنْذِرِ عَنْ إِبْنُ الْمَسْعُودِ وَإِبْنُ عُمَرِ وَأَنَسْ وَمَالِكِ وَسَعِيدِ إِبْنُ الْمُسَيِّبِ وَالْأَسْوَدِ وَعَلْقَمَةِ وَحَسَنَ الْبَصْرِ وَعُرْوَةِ وأحمد وإسحاق وأبي ثور وقال وبه أقول and this is the fatwa of all these sahaba all these tabi'een and tabu'u tabi'een all of these these people they have given the fatwa that if you find the ruku you found the if you find the ruku of the second raka'ah of the jumu'ah then you found the jumu'ah otherwise you missed the jumu'ah okay these are the majority of the scholars by the way but there is another minority opinion which is Opinion of Imam Abu Hanifa rahmatullahi alayhi وَيَرَى الْإِمَامُ أَبُو حَنِيفَ رَحْمَتُلَّهِ عَلَيْهِ أَنَّ مَنْ أَدْرَكَ التَّشَهُدَ مَعَ الْإِمَامِ فَقَدْ أَدْرَكَ الْجُمْعَةِ Imam Abu Hanifa rahmatullahi alayhi says if you find the tashahud 
means you joined uh, the at tahiyyatu when Imam reading at tahiyyatu, then you found the Jumu'ah. Then you managed to read at tahiyyatu, Allahumma salli ala, Allahumma barika ala, all that. You found the Jumu'ah. Fayusalli ba'da salami al-imami rak'atain. So after Imam finishes the salam, you finish two rak'at. Qala allama as-saraqsi fil mabsood. Imam allama as-saraqsi rahmatullahi alayhi, he mentioned this rule. In Mabsud, in the Kitab of Mabsud. وَمَنْ أَدْرَكَ الْإِمَامُ فِي التَّشَهُدِ فِي الْجُمُعَةِ أَوْ فِي سَجْدَةِ السَّهْوِ فَاقْتَدَ بِهِ فَقَدْ أَدْرَكَهَا وَيُسَلِّيهَا رَكَعَتَيْنِ فِي قُولِ أَبِي حَنِيفَةً وَأَبِي يُسُفْ رَحِمَهُ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى And in another opinion about Abu Hanifah said, if you find the Imam in the sajda, last sajda, or even in sajda to sahu, you found the Jumu'ah, you finished that less, less, uh, two rakat after the salam, and that's the Imam Abu Hanifa's opinion, Imam Abu Yusuf's opinion as well. وَقَالَ إِمَامُ مُحَمَّدْ رَحِمَهُ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى يُسَلِّ أَرْبَعًا But Imam Muhammad, Muhammad ibn Hassan al-Shaybani, rahmatullahi alayhi, he said, no, you have to pray for rakat. So here we see there is differences of opinion in between the teacher and the student. So teacher is Imam Abu Hanifa, he's saying, that's fine. My student is Imam Muhammad, he's saying, no, it's not fine. You still have to pray for. So again, that Imam Muhammad is with the rest of the opinion, which they said that if you miss the ruku, that means you miss the raka'ah, you have to pray for raka'ah, so Imam Muhammad is there. And one of the Imam, uh, Imam Abu Yusuf's opinion as well, that you have to pray for. So one of the opinion of Imam Abu Yusuf is also that you have to pray for raka'ah if you miss the ruku. So now the conclusion is, that coming to the conclusion, that you have to pray for raka'ah. So, Let's stick to the majority of the scholars, majority opinion on this. So majority of the scholars of the dunya, they are with the opinion that if you missed the raka'ah, if you missed the ruku, you missed the raka'ah. And if you missed the second raka'ah of the jumu'ah, then you missed the jumu'ah, you have to pray zuhur. So those brothers come late and they try to attend the jumu'ah in the last minute. To them, my humble request will be that you guys missed the jumu'ah, your reward is gone. You didn't find anything for you guys. Pray Zohar and from next week, come early and come even before the khutbah. Because listening to the khutbah, it is wajib, wajib, wajib. You must come listen to the khutbah and sit quietly while Imam giving khutbah and then pray to rakat. That's the full Jumu'ah. Okay, inshallah. So don't come late from today. Uh, start changing your lifestyle and for past or whatever happened, uh, repent to Allah Ta'ala and seek forgiveness and do not miss your Jumu'ah ever again. Jazakumullah khairan. Okay, so now uh, we will share the importance of listening to the khutbah. It says that, yeah, Allah Ta'ala says in the Quran, يا أيها الذين آمنوا إذا نودي للصلاة من يوم الجمعة فسعوا إلى ذكر الله وذر البيع. الله تعالى said O people إذا نودي للصلاة O believers whenever the adhan been called for جمعة صلاة يعني صلاة الجمعة من يوم الجمعة on the day of جمعة the جمعة is adhan been called فسعوا إلى ذكر الله come running to the ذكر of الله what does running mean running means come early Come as early as possible to the dhikr of Allah, to the remembrance of Allah. So you're not really to come late. So, so those people coming late, they're going against the command of Allah, against the instruction of Allah, against the ayat of Allah. So if they're coming on purpose, then they're doing haram because they're going against the command of Allah. But if there is something emergency due to that because they had hospital appointment or something like that emergency, because of that, they're coming late then obviously they got something valid to say in front of Allah. Otherwise, going against that sentence, against the command and instruction of Allah Ta'ala, against the ayat, they're going to be sinful and major sinful. It is haram to come late to Jumu'ah. Okay? So Allah Ta'ala said, come early, so you have to come early. وَذَرُوا bay' And you have to leave your businesses. Means you have to close your businesses. As soon as Jumu'ah's azan been called, you're keeping your businesses' doors open. It is haram. So you have to shut your shops and go to Jumu'ah. This is wajib. This is what ayat says. Allah said, Allah commanded it. And following the commands of Allah, it's wajib. Uh, 
Next in the hadith where Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Man igtasala yawm al-jum'ah, wa ghassala, wa bakkara, wa abtakara, wa dana, wa istama'a, wa ansata, wa ansata, kana lahu bi kulli khutwatin yakhtuha ajru, sanatin siyamuha wa qiyamuha. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Whoever taken a shower in the day of Jumu'ah, wa ghassala and cleansed himself, he cleaned himself properly, yeah? He didn't leave any rubbish on his body, any 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 dirt on his body. Now, doesn't matter whatever his work related, he removed all his smells, all everything. Yeah. So he's not coming with the onion smell, garlic smell, cooking smell, yeah, food smell, fish smell, or even if it can be butcher, butcher's smell. So nothing. He's taking a shower and completely cleaning himself. Bakara wabtakara, going early and making others to go early as well, planning for to go early, wadana wastama'a, and sitting as close to Imam as possible, wastama'a, listening to the khutbah carefully, wa ansata, and staying quiet, kana lahu bi kulli khutwatin yakhtuha ajru sanatin, for every step he's taken to the masjid, with every step he's going to get reward of one year's fasting and one year's praying. He's going to get reward of for every step, one year's fasting, one year's praying. Now imagine if you're taking 50 steps to the masjid, that's 50 years fastings and prayings reward you're getting. So now, by going late, you're missing that. If you go late, then in the hadith it says, Bakkara wa Bakkara, you're going early. So the hadith is part of early, going early. So now if you're late, you miss that reward. So now you're missing two things. If you go late to Jumu'ah or late to Khutbah, you're disobeying Allah, disobeying the Quran, disobeying the ayah, Allah's instruction, disobeying the ayah, and disobeying the hadith. So that's why you're missing out the biggest reward. So here, the the the, the nasiha, the advice will be from me to you all brothers out there that do not miss the khutbah ever again unless there is something emergency that's different your juma will be valid if you even find the second rakah but without a valid reason without a, uh, something important do not miss the khutbah come as as early as possible pray few rakat two rakat four rakat six rakat as much as possible before imam gets on the in the member and then once imam sits on the member you stop praying and listen to the khutbah as much as possible. May Allah Ta'ala accept you. May Allah Ta'ala give us true understanding of deen. And may Allah Ta'ala accept our Jumu'ahs. And allow, may Allah Ta'ala allow us all to pray our Jumu'ahs on time. Shukran lakum jazeelan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.